Hello guys, welcome again to our home. In case you're new here, my name is Miss Wiro. And guys, today I'm going to do a meal prep as you can see. And also I'm going to show you some organizations here and there. I hope you enjoy the video. If you're new, kindly subscribe down below so that I'll notify you when I upload a new video. And also if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. My first meal will be githeri and as you all know githeri takes the longest time to cook and so it's the one that I'm going to begin with and I already soaked my beans and maize at night so now it's morning and it's the one that I'm going to begin with. I'll add some salt and I'm using pressure cooker for this because it takes long to cook so I'll take it and put it out on the jiko then I'll come back and make the rest. As that one cooks, I'm going to take my tripe. I'm going to cook tripe next. I'm going to wash it because it's frozen already. So I'm just going to add some water to defrost it. And then after that, I'll also set it to cook. I'm only going to leave it to cook for 20 minutes and as that happens I'm going to arrange this side of my countertop. It's very plain and I'm going to try something new to see how this will turn out. I'm going to add some cooking oil to my cooking oil dispenser and then I set it aside and also I'm going to do the same with my vinegar. I also have this white teapot right here and I'm going to use this to arrange my cooking sticks because I have so many of them. Also, I wanted them to be closer to cooking area so that I can somehow access them easily. And also, as you can see, I have my straws there, my cooking brush and spatula and also I have some dispensers for olive oil and also my spray bottle. Yeah, my oil spray bottle after that i'm going to use this small how do i call it this small canister i don't know whether it's a canister or what this this white one here that i got from china square i'm going to use this one here also to put my salt and i think this was a very good idea and now guys i don't have any other option but to fill this piece right here and now i'm going to put my seasoning cubes but you saw last time I have another organizer where I put all the seasoning cubes but I'll just have to put them here so that I can fill that space. I got that dish from China Square also. Now that I'm done I've prepared my spices also and I'll go ahead and start frying my tripe. And first of all I had to drain that water because I didn't like the way this thing always smells so I had to dispose that water and then I begin frying. I'm adding some vegetable oil and then after that I'm going to stir it and let it cook in this oil until it's golden brown. As you can see that's only oil and tripe, yeah, oil and matumbo only. And then now I'll go ahead and put my onions and cook until golden brown. I'll go in with some garlic and ginger and stir it a bit and let it cook for around one minute. And then I'll also go in with some tomatoes. I didn't blend my tomatoes because I know most of us don't have blenders and at the end I'll have so many questions. 
I'll cover it and let it cook and as that happens I'm going to add my beans on the maize that was cooking and right now it has cooked for around one hour or around 40 minutes so I'm going to add my beans onto it and stir and then close it again and let it cook for another around 40 minutes or one hour and it will be ready I began with maize because I was using dry maize and dry maize takes long to cook Coming back to my tribe, my tomatoes are cooked. I'll go ahead and mix it a little and then go in with my spices. Now that I'm done frying my tripe, I'm going to take it outside to cook on the jiko because my githeri is ready and I'm just going to set it aside so that I'll fry it later. I'm now moving to the next thing and that is my kenyaji greens and I have managu and saga here. I've forgotten the English names so you can help me with that. I'm going to wash my vegetables three times because most of the time I wash them once and then the rest of the washing I do off camera but most of you advise me a lot on how I should wash them three times or four times yet I know that but because I don't want the video to be too long I always cut lots and lots of stuff you know you can't show everything so today I decided to do it so that you can see After my last wash, I'll put them directly into this cooking pot and then boil it for some time. And it's going to take around 20 minutes and then I fry it. As it cooks for that 20 minutes, I'm going to do something and that is to return my basins back to where I always store them because I don't want my utensils to pile up. I'm also going to wash my fruits and take them to the fridge. I'm going to use vinegar for this. I sometimes use vinegar or I use baking soda. Or I use a veg wash and as you can see there I have my vegetable wash right there I don't use soap for those who always say I use soap I use vegetable wash 
and also for those who confuse baking soda and baking powder i use baking soda for washing my foods but i use baking powder for making my merenda so i hope you understand that i use baking powder for merenda not baking soda baking soda i only use for washing my vegetables and fruits Now that I'm done with that, before I check my vegetable, I'm going to wash my lentils and let it soak for some time as I fry my vegetables. My vegetable is ready and I'll just go ahead and fry it. I'll go in with my vegetable oil and then go in with my onions and let it cook until golden brown. Then after that I'll go in with my tomatoes just as usual. It's only one tomato because I don't want it to be too much. Then I'll add some seasoning cubes. I'm using Rico cubes, two of them, and then after that, I'm just going to put in my vegetable. I'll mix it well and then add some milk into it. You can also add some coconut milk or some cream just anything of your choice some people add water but i don't think water will match here at all at all and then i'll also add some salt because that salt was not enough and then i'll just cover it and do something else i'll allow it to cook for like five or ten minutes and as i wait for that to cook i'm going to set my lentils in this cooking pot right here ready for cooking and then i'll go ahead and wash any other left utensils here so that i can reduce them as much as i can these ones i don't need to wash i just rinse them like that and then put them there now my vegetable is ready and i'll set it aside because i need to serve it and as i serve it i'll leave these lentils here to boil my matumbo or my tripe is also ready so i'm just going to serve them right away as my lentils cook you keep my world from spinning i'm just thinking about your eye just don't know if i've been faking or pretending but i know i never felt so damn alive i leave them there to cool before i take them to the fridge and now i'm going to start frying my chicken i washed the chicken yesterday before i set it inside the freezer and so i'm just going to cook it directly I don't have to wash it again my lentils is still boiling and i'll go ahead and fry this broiler because this broiler chicken it's not free range so i'll just have to fry it this way directly not the way i cook the kenyanji ones
I'm not thinking about how long it's gonna take now. I'm just thinking about our lives. You and me just laying blankets on a beach, and then at night I'll sing your favorite lullaby. I'm done frying my chicken and I'll let it cook for some time. I want it to cook well and as it cooks I'm going to set these other foods that I already served in the fridge. They have cooled already and I'll just cover them and label them and take them to the fridge and the freezer. My chicken is not yet ready so I'll go ahead and serve my yogurt that I made yesterday. Yeah, I made it yesterday and I set it for 24 hours and right now it's 24 hours after. So I'm just going to mix it and put the flavors that I want to put. Like this one I'm going to put vanilla and some sugar and then I serve it immediately and also take it to the fridge. I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning I'm just thinking about your eyes Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending But I know I never felt so damn alive My chicken is ready and now I'll go ahead and serve it too And let it rest also as I fry my lentils and githeri Dry, hello where you at, where you been, tell me everything about you, go slow, so I can write it down and become the perfect man. I like mashing my lentils a bit, so if you don't like it that way, fine, but I like doing mine this way. Yes, I'll do that just slightly and then start frying both of them. This first cooking pot right here is for lentils and then the other one is for githeri.
I'm done with these two, I'll just cover them and let them cook slightly as I cover and store my chicken which has already cooled down and also I'll label them. My last meals are ready too, I'll just take them out, serve them and let them cool too as I do other things. It's one hour later, I'm just going to cover them and take them to the fridge and freezer. And I'm only going to label my lentils. I'm not going to label my gideri because I've labeled everything. So I'll just let them be that way. So I'm going to label my lentils only and then take all of them to fridge and freezer. Now that I'm done cooking, I want to clean everything and I'll begin with my cooker right here and then I go to my utensils and then after that I'm going to mop. In this same video as I wash my utensils, I'm going to show you how I wash my stainless cooking pots so kindly watch out for that.
I've finished washing some of my utensils and right now I'm going to wash my cooking pots. These ones mainly are stainless ones, the other ones I've washed, the non-stick ones. And I'm going to make some baking soda and some vinegar for these. I'll apply the paste on my cooking pots and let it sit for around 20 minutes. You can leave it for as long as you can but I'm going to let mine sit for only 20 minutes because I have to wash them now. I'm so tired, I need to go and get some sleep. Twenty minutes are over and I'm now going to scrub them and I'm using a steel wool for this. As you can see already there's a very big difference. It's not that clean because I've not soaked it for that long. But already there's a very, very big difference. And with that, it's just okay with me. I've finished scrubbing all of them. And so I'll go ahead and wash them again with some soap now. The last wash and then rinse them and... Yeah, I'll be done.
Thank you so much guys for watching this video up to this far if you like it kindly give it a thumbs up and also if you're new kindly subscribe down below so that i'll notify you when i upload a new video bye bye